All right, just a quick update on the plugin that I'm working on, Animation Layers. So let me load a sample scene to test that out. All right, scene loaded. So let me add a walk cycle. It's just something we can use to test the functionality. So I want to loop my walk cycle five times. So let me load that using my other plugin. Okay, good. So now I don't need this plugin anymore. I can uh, remove it. I have a walking walk cycle up to frame 60 somewhere there. Now, the neat thing about this uh, plugin that I'm working on is this. So let me just load it. Of course, this is a work in progress. The uh, interface won't look anything like this. All right, so what I need to do now is create a new layer. If you look at the timeline, there are keyframes, as you would expect, for the character, for the bones and the body. But if I select the parent and say new layer, it's going to move all the characters, all the items into a layer. And you see there's layer one there. If I select the layer, I can see the items inside that layer. But the neat thing is that the timeline is now empty. So, but the character still works. So now what I can do with this is I can start adding some new keyframes. So let me go to my bone here and just uh, bend him a little bit like so. So as you can see, I have animated him. Let me move that arm a little bit. Let's see that. So as you can see, I have added more animation on top of the already existing animation. So with this, I can still get the arm or the torso from, from that point onward and say new layer. So let me just put a new number here for a new layer. And there we go. So now I've got two layers. And as you can see, those keyframes as well have disappeared now, but the character is still walking. So now I can with a clean timeline again, I can add some more animation to the character, like that. All right, so I think uh, this kind of proves the idea that it can actually work. So these are layers. So now what I need to do is just add some more buttons, like uh, uh, bringing back your layer into the timeline, uh, merging layers, etc etc all right so that's just an update quick update if you'd like to support please become a patron the link is in the description thanks